Hey everybody, Scott here from G-System Videos. It is Thursday, and uh, you know, just more Strat stuff, so let's, uh, let's go. Da, 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 da. Yep, I am going to do some more finishing on the Strat, uh, more coats of true oil, more steel wool. Um, I'm not going to show you all of it, I'm just going to show you what it looks like before the first coat and after the third. So that, you know, speed up this process. And uh, it'll be done with the finish by, uh, by Saturday. I'll do a Saturday video. And uh, then it will be ready to uh, cure for about a week. And then I will send it out. Um, haven't figured out where I'm going to send it out to, to get the uh, machine screw inserts. So if anybody knows of any luthiers in the United States that uh, do machine screw inserts on necks, let me know. And... Uh, because I can't find one here in Austin, which sucks. Boo. Um, I was going to do an amp review today. I bought a new amp, but it kind of sucks, so I'm not going to endorse anything that I don't like. I'm just going to put it back on Craigslist and sell the motherfucker. So there's that. Turns out the... Uh... <coughs> the Eggnator Tweaker 40 is the perfect amp for me. Ugh. And I wasn't even just talking about my G-System videos. This is going to be the G-System videos amp forever. But I uh, bought an amp to use with my uh, my new 80s cover band. And it, uh, it didn't work out. So I'm just going to use the Eggnator. I'm just going to build a uh, either a 112, 210, or a 212 um, for it. So I don't have to take the ISO cabinet out of the house. It's just too bulky and heavy. And uh, yeah. Blah blah blah. So there's that. So let's uh, let's go watch the uh, watch the guy put on some uh, rubber gloves and uh, do stuff to some pieces of wood. All right, back for some more. We're starting to see some depth in the grain, which is good. Uh, I've got five coats. I didn't actually get three yesterday. I got uh, two. So we're gonna go over it with the steel wool. All right, for my next bit, I am going to install these Strat single coil base plates on the back of these uh, Sur V60 pickups. And these come from Callaham, same place I got the uh, Strat bridge from. And all you do really, they've uh, put some masking tape on the back here because you don't want, I mean the magnet itself will hold the pickup down. But you do not want uh, the actual, these magnets, to touch this. Bad things happen. And you also don't want vibration. That is where the beeswax comes in. We're going to melt a little layer of beeswax between the tape and the pickup. And then, take the uh, little ground wire here and solder it to the ground on the pickup. So... First things first, let's poke holes in these little uh, screw hole thingies, or just screw holes. Let's call them that. Okay, I have shaved off three thin slices of beeswax from a beeswax that I got at Woodcraft. And put it down, shaved it just shy of the, uh, I want to say it can be a little bit shorter, I think. Just shy of the uh, screw holes. You got plenty of clearance there. Get it down there. 
make sure that the tape side is down and uh, position these things just so. My soldering iron has been heating for a while so we're just going to start working it. And as soon as we see uh, the beeswax run clear, then we'll be good to go. I see some beeswax running clear on that side already. That is all you need to do. We are completely seated. Ooh, and we're smoking. Oh no! Now just repeat. All right, for the final bit, I've just got to uh, solder the little lead to the uh, to the ground. There you go. The pickups are ready to uh, ready to rock and roll. Good times. Okay, I am handheld for this last bit because it's kind of late at night. It's after midnight, and. Uh, just showing you, I just finished the last coat on this, and uh, it is looking pretty three-dimensional, I must say. I'm liking it. The neck is super shiny. Ooh, look at that. You betcha. Good stuff. Got some, uh, ooh, look at all those amps. Got a lot of extra shit today. <laughs> look at this. Ooh, here's a cat stack with an Avatar 212. Judy Box 112. This is a piece of shit. And, uh, you know, Black Cat. Good times. So, uh, what do you have to say for yourself, Boozman? I thought so. There you have it. Some more uh, rubbing down of wood with uh, true oil. Mm, good times. I will uh, see you on Saturday for the final finished video. Oh, good times. We're going to buff it. Oh, Jimmy Buffett? No. No. See you Saturday. Rock on.